What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your man, Chaz Ellis, once again, answering the questions that you ask me. A big question that I've been getting from a lot of guys out there is why women always ignore you on the street. You ask a girl out, you try to talk to a girl, you say hello, and she just doesn't say nothing back, or she looks at you and turns her nose up. Why is that happening? A lot of dudes ask me that question, and I kind of came up with a reason why, but not just coming up with a reason why, I want to let you know what to do about it so it doesn't have to always happen to you. First of all, you have to understand that when you're talking to somebody on the street, that's going to be an uphill battle anyway. That's going to be one of the hardest methods of getting a girl, is talking to her while she's walking by. Why? Why? Because she could care less. She could care less because she does not have time to build equity in you. She does not have time to give a damn who you are. She does not have time to know what you do for a living, know what kind of car you drive. Know whether or not you have children or whether you would be a good father if you did have children. Know whether or not you're educated or not. She has no idea. So you can come to her and be as polite as you want to be. Hey, ma'am, um, I just wanted to let you know that you're beautiful. No, you're beautiful. Sounds nice, but she doesn't care if you think she's beautiful because she doesn't know you. She's built no value in you for your opinion to matter. You can come up to the chick and be like, Hey, um, I just want to let you know that uh, your smile is bright and it looks like you're having a nice day. And I hope you continue to. You're like, oh, I was respectful. I was sweet. What happened? She doesn't care. Because you're probably the fifth or sixth guy to come up and say that mess to her in the last five, ten minutes. Nobody cares. They don't want to hear that crap. They're trying to get to their car. So what you have to understand and what you're doing is, and, and don't feel like it's so rude that she didn't say hi to you or she didn't say anything back. Because let's be real here. Did you go up to all the ugly girls and say what's up to them? Did you go up to all the ugly girls and say, I hope you're having a nice day, babe? No, you went up to somebody that was pretty. So yes, there is a common courtesy to say hello to someone who says hello to you. But it's also a common courtesy to say hello to everybody. Think about that. So... You didn't say hello to the chicks that you weren't interested in, so you don't give common courtesy to chicks that you're not interested in. And guess what? She doesn't give common courtesy to niggas she ain't interested in. Simple as that. I'm not trying to stick up for them. I'm just telling you why they're doing it. They don't care about you. So what do you do? How do you change this situation for yourself? The first thing you have to look at is there is no sense of urgency for you. I'm going to give you a news flash about people in general. You probably didn't notice and you may have. Um, we generally shop at all the same places. People shop in a circle. They shop at the same stores almost all the time. If you work somewhere, clearly you go to work at the same place every day. If you live somewhere, clearly you go back to your house every single day. So what does that mean? Nine times out of ten, when a girl walks past you on the street, you would see that girl again. There is absolutely no sense of urgency. So don't get in a hurry. If you see a pretty girl, but you don't really feel like the time is right, you don't really feel like it's a situation that you can win in, then wait until the situation is good. That goes into the next thing. Set the stage. Here's something you have to understand about this situation. When I talk about setting the stage. When you want to set the stage, that means you want to think in advance of what you're going to see. I don't want you to go out there and say, I want to talk to a girl today. Boom, let me just jump outside and start talking to chicks. Because what's going to happen most likely is you're going to get rejected over and over and over and over again until the next girl you go up to, you have such low self-esteem, you try to be as polite as possible, but you really just come off looking lame and looking all timid because you've been rejected so much. We want to put you in a situation where you don't feel like you're going to get rejected. Because you have every reason to believe that you're about to make this girl feel that she's getting the opportunity of a lifetime. Because in reality, she is. If you're a good dude, that means you're in the minority. If you're going to treat her right, that means you're in the minority. If you're going to be a good man to somebody and you're going to take care of their needs and wants, then you're in the minority. That means it's her lucky day. Because the majority of dudes are not going to do that stuff. And women can attest to that. So if you're a good dude, then that means you are giving her something that she wants. You just got to let her know she wants it. 
You do that by setting the stage. Here's what you do. You have to understand that when you go out and talk to a chick on the street, she has no idea who you are. She has no idea what you do. She couldn't have any idea. She doesn't know you. So you want to make sure that you pick a day when you want to talk to women. And you say, I'm going to be dressed nice. If you work at a Fortune 500 company as the damn president, why would you talk to girls when you're in shorts and a t-shirt with some sandals and your feet look bad? Why in the heck would you sit out there and try to talk to women in that situation and think you're going to get the same type of woman that you would if you was coming off of work and you look like somebody? Okay, so here you go. You pick that day you want to talk to women and you look like somebody. You wear the nicest outfit you got. If you got a Mercedes or some stuff like that, why not have the keys in your hand? And that works for the guy that works at McDonald's also. You got to remember, just like she don't know, he works at the Fortune 500 company, how the hell she know you work at McDonald's? Not possible for her to know. So what you do is you dress nice. You make sure you look the best you've ever looked because this is your moment. You're making this small work moment work to your advantage. That means you dress as nice as you possibly can. When you see her coming from down the street, you make sure you're already setting the stage in terms of how you want to act. If you see an old lady walking down the street, you say hello to her. Hey, you need some help with your bags or anything? You're already talking to people. You're already getting a conversation going. That way, when she makes it up the street, she doesn't really necessarily come off. It doesn't come off as you're just singling her out and talking to her. You just come off as a nice guy. That way, you don't look like a desperate, thirsty-ass dude who she has to reject. You look like somebody that's a pretty cool guy who's dressed really nice, who looks like he's about something. So she has to make a split decision. She has to say, okay, wait a minute. He looks really nice. He was nice to everybody. Because you have to remember, women are very, very perceptive. They really are. They see things a lot of times before you even have gotten a whiff of what they're about to see. So when you're doing something stuff like that, they're seeing it. They know, they're going to look at you from head to toe. They're going to look at what building you're standing in front of. I promise you. They're going to know everything you have set up to set the stage, they're going to see. And that I promise you. They're going to see what shoes you got on. They're going to see what outfits you got on. They're going to see what you got in your hand. Everything. I promise you that. It's not going to... The better you can set the stage, the more they're going to see. And the more they're going to start to make a determination about what kind of person you are. Because they're going to see it all. Everything you put out there, I promise you they're going to see. Um, so when you set that stage and you get yourself looking good, you get your mind right, you got your spirit right, you're talking to people, you got, you're moving, you look like you're a president of a Fortune 500 company, you're moving like you're president of a Fortune 500 company, that's when you want to, when she walks by, you don't want to be too aggressive. Because if somebody is a winner... When somebody is a winner, they're not thirsty. Winners aren't thirsty. Winners aren't sitting over here begging. Winners aren't over here making it seem like they don't have, they can't do any better, they can't do anything. You know, most of the time you see like an NBA player or something at the club. I don't know if you've ever been at a club with one. But if you've ever been at a club with some NBA players or something like that, they don't usually go out on the dance floor to talk to girls. They never do, actually. What they do is have somebody else go out there and talk to them. Because what they're saying is, I'm... I'm important. So this person is talking to you to come bring you back here to me. You're coming to me. Yes, I'm making a contact in some way, but you're coming to me. So what you want to do before you do anything with a woman is see if she looks back and makes that eye contact. Because you set the stage. So you set the, you set the trap already by setting the stage. You were dressed nice that day. You were standing in the right place where you knew the most traffic of women were going to come by. Or maybe even that specific woman. You were talking to people, so you didn't look like a creep. You didn't look like you was waiting on her or nothing like that. You was having the same interaction with other people that you were about to have with her. Now you want to see if she's going to make that contact with you. Because that's her way of telling you that she does want to talk to you. Or it's her way of saying that I have some level of interest. When she looks back and she sees you, or she looks at you and she makes that contact, then what do you do? You don't go overboard. You just say, hey. Hey, how you doing? And you create that sense of urgency for her. That's the last thing you really want to think about is creating that sense of urgency for her. What does that mean? If all you say is, hey, how you doing? Or, hey, whatever. 
You don't really put too much information out there. You don't really put too much emphasis on it. She doesn't know if you like her or not. She doesn't have a clue. She doesn't know if you're going to ever talk to her again. She can't know. There's no way she can know. Because when you sit there and just say, hey, that means that she has to say something back to keep the conversation going. So you're not in a position where you're just putting yourself out there, pouring yourself at a girl, and then she doesn't even pay attention to you. And you feel bad. You leave, you feel dejected. You feel like you've lost something from your spirit. No, what you're doing is you're just putting out a hey. So if she responds back, that's another opportunity for you to start talking. And say, you know, hey, how you doing? Yada, yada, yada. Get more information out. Now you can get a conversation going. But you're not jumping up there all thirsty like, yo, what's up, girl? You my moon and my sun, and I love you so much. And yeah, you know, I wore this outfit for you. What you did was you set the stage. You said, I'm an important person. I'm just as valuable as you are. So... When I say hey to you, that's after you already looked at me. You already gave me some kind of indication that you were interested. And then all I said was hey. So if you decided to ignore that, it really doesn't matter. Because right after I get done saying hey to you, I'm going to say hey to somebody else. So now you don't even know if that was directed to you because you were more attractive. You just saw me talk to this old lady. No disrespect to older women. I'm talking, you know, even if you are an old lady. No disrespect. You know what I mean? Look, y'all be making some good desserts. No. <laughs> no. But look, you talk to everybody. Say what's up to dudes. Yo, what's up, dude? You know, give a pound to somebody that you see. Some people are from the north, and it's a little bit less. I know because I've been lived in both the north and the south. I know it's a little bit trickier when you live up north. But still, try to talk to people. Try to show that you're a friendly person. That way, when you make that eye contact with her, and she's and you say, hey, she feels like she can feel comfortable making more conversation with you. You're not looking thirsty. What you're doing is you're giving her, with the stage that you set, you're giving her a reason to say, I want to talk to this guy. So that's what you got to think about doing. Um, no sense of urgency. Don't, don't rush yourself. Um, set that stage. Make sure you look the best you ever looked. That's your time. You got a, a period of like two or three seconds to look the best that you've ever looked in your life. You got a period of two or three seconds because you got to remember in that moment, in that time, you are whatever you want to be because you're whatever you're portraying. She doesn't know you. So you are whatever you're portraying at that particular time. You could own the moon. She doesn't know. All she can go is by what she sees in that little small span of time. So you make it look good. You make that look good. Because that's the fact that she doesn't know you is working in your favor now. Make sure you, you work it to your favor. And make that eye contact. If she doesn't make that eye contact, that's not your day to talk to her. Try it again. But if she doesn't make that eye contact, that's not your day to talk to her. If she does make that eye contact, the sense of urgency has already been created for her. But you just say, hey. Don't give her nothing else to go on more than just a hey. All right, it's your man, Chaz Ellis. Hopefully, I was of help to you. Hopefully, we can get this, this whole thing getting ignored, licked. Um, hit me up on Ask Chaz Ellis on Facebook. Also, you can um, give me a PM if you have any questions you want to ask. That's a personal message. Dope, right? Yeah, you can send me a, send me a personal message on here if you have any other questions or anything. Uh, right now, the Facebook is kind of the easiest way to get to me, so I probably would go and ask Chaz Ellis on Facebook. I'm going to be doing a blog also. It's going to be Ask Chaz Ellis on blogger.com. Hit me up on that. Read some of the stuff I'm going to be writing. It's going to be a little bit different, longer, some stuff, and some stuff shorter. But it's going to be all kind of different stuff on there for you to be able to look at. Um, so do go ahead and hit me up on that. Oh, yeah, and please, like and subscribe. Peace.